solutions as the engineering institutes for uh, are asking for the uh, for the complete uh, lab setup so we are actually tied up with the iso certified uh, exporting manufacturers and we have a made a concept called expert labs so it is a combination of the software and as well as the hardware so the automation studio uh, which addresses industrial fluid power and as well as the mechatronics automation and robotics part also okay then we have a, a single robotic cell uh, then we also have a robotic simulation software also then we have a electrical power system analysis uh, solutions in that we are giving the new plan software and as well as some power system trainers also okay and in the renewable energy we have a pollution software and as well as we have a solar and a wind trainer kits also and which which is are the surya mitra compliant also okay uh, these are our uh, work in the government institutes uh, so you can as see can see dt maharashtra dvt maharashtra techweb world bank and the iits and the nits also uh, then why pollution so actually in the present world trend is on the renewable energy and it is pollution is the uh, baby of the vela solaris okay and uh, as we can see the india is now emphasizing on the renewable energy especially on the solar energy so it is the software with the largest database of the indian equipment manufacturers more than we have a 1500 ready made experiments so you will see those experiments in a few min few minutes and our ed indian educational institutes were focused only on the hardware limiting the design and research capabilities of the student okay and now i will uh, request to the andreas wolf sir to take ahead this session thank you very much uh, thank you very much for the introduction and uh, thank you very much for the invitation to uh, this webinar uh, thank you to you all uh, for your interest i'm very happy that uh, so many people uh, present uh, are present in this um, in this webinar and now i will share my screen just give me a second i think you should see my screen now is this the case please let me know your screen is visible yes sir it is visible okay wonderful thank you very much for your help so uh, today i want to present to you the software polisan software for renewable energies and of course we don't have so much time so anyway i will give you um, just a short impression about it if you are, have further interest of course you can uh, contact india soft for further details and we will be able to organize also individual screen sharings where we uh, discuss uh, specific topics generally talking about polisan uh, as mr patil has already pointed out the interesting thing about polisan is that you can combine different technologies with each other so it's a software not just about uh, solar thermal or about photovoltaics or about heat pumps or about geothermal or about cogeneration but you can combine all these um, technologies with each other and uh, you can see for example here we have a list of templates of system templates and uh, in these system templates in in these folders we have uh, got uh, lots of systems with different technologies for different applications um, all over we have got here in in this folder we have about 1000 templates you can see we have also company templates which have been designed especially for certain companies uh, also uh, special templates with uh, special components um, for the first time polisan was developed uh, in 1992 by the institute for solar technology uh, spf and uh, that is located in in rapperswil close to zurich uh, our company vela solaris was founded in 2006 as a spin off company of this uh, institute Uh, it's a university institute spf which is also testing solar thermal collectors for uh, the solar key mark 
And um, our company was, as I said, founded in 2006 as a spin-off company. Now we are based in Winterthur. Winterthur is also close to Zurich in Switzerland. So I'm right now actually in Winterthur. Uh, and um, just to inform you, it is uh, snowing. We have very, very heavy snow here. And uh, I was lucky to make it into the office through to the snow to give this webinar. Um, so when you use Polisan for the first time, uh, you uh, would usually start with the wizard. Uh, in the wizard is not the graphical user interface of Polisan, uh, which we already could see, but which I will present to you more in detail in the next minutes. But the wizard is a starting help. If you have never used Polisan before, uh, this is the way how you can start. And um, you uh, can use, uh, you can choose the location here from a database. Um, you can choose the continent, uh, then the the country, and then you can choose from uh, uh, meteorological data uh, of the major cities. But you could also choose the location from a map. Um, of course, you can uh, choose your geographical knowledge and just uh, zoom and then look for your location. Or you could um, use the search option, for example, Mumbai, and then you see the cursor automatically uh, goes here into um, the into the map. Now I got just a message that the, the screen wasn't visible anymore. Is this still the case? Can you see my screen? Uh, Sir, please stop presenting and present again. Okay. It's a request yeah. to all participants. Do not uh, present your screen while Andreas sir is giving the presentation. So, can you see my screen again? Yes, sir, it is visible. Okay, now, now you should see Polisan again. Okay, good. So, <laughs> sorry for, for this uh, short technical problem. Anyway, as I have explained to you, you can um, choose the location also from a map, not only from a database. So you could, uh, for example, search for a location here. Then you see the cursor goes directly onto the map. You can obviously zoom in like you know it with other uh, software, like with Google Maps, for example. You could confirm your location. Um, and uh, then you could simulate this location. Then on the next page, you can choose your system. As I have said, we have about uh, 1,000 uh, templates, uh, 1,000 system templates in Polisan. If you put, uh, if you set all on NA here, uh, then you will see we have here 1,050 templates. And when you go, when you use the mouse, you hover the mouse over the, um, the systems, you can see the the layout pictures of the single systems and these are very different systems so the wizard will help you to choose the right system so for example if we start with a simple solar thermal system then you can simply select it from the list you can click on continue you can do some basic settings here for domestic hot water but i will proceed very quickly now because you can uh, do um, more detailed settings later on directly on the graphic user interface. Of course, you can choose here your uh, solar thermal collector from a database. Um, I have already mentioned that we have um, been, uh, our, that uh, Polisan has originally been developed by SPF 
so SPF is a testing institute, you can see this, but you don't only have here uh, collectors tested by SPF, also by other test institutes around the world. So all this data and this vast database um, are not coming from the manufacturers, but they are coming actually from test institutes. So they are absolutely reliable. So you can choose your collector here, then you can uh, um, set your orientation, your tilt angle in Pulisan. You can see this here, zero is towards south, positive values are towards east, so plus 90 is exactly east, minus 90 is exactly west. And um, then you can also uh, choose your, your um, storage tank here, again from a vast uh, database, you see here, uh, uh, you can click on uh, the header line volume and then they are sorted according to their volume. So uh, you can choose uh, an adequate tank, also an adequate heat generator. And then when you have finished this, automatically the first uh, simulation will be done. You see the green bar on the bottom running here. That means the simulation is running and then automatically your first results are shown. Uh, now, regarding the results, uh, if you, we have got six menus here, project, system diagram, results, catalogs, options, and question mark. Um, if you go into the results menu, you will see um, Polisan uh, is... Um, so please wait, please wait. Please wait. Uh, stop presenting and uh, represent your screen again, sir. Just a second. Okay. So please let me know if you can see. Visible, visible, visible. Okay. visible. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, so uh, I think you have uh, heard uh, what I have said last. Uh, you uh, can choose from a wide array of different results, uh, result views from very rough results, which give you just um, a general idea of the software. So, uh, sorry, a general idea of the system. So for example, here you have the, um, the results overview, you have only annual values here. Um, but it can get very, very detailed uh, down to simulation time steps. And I want to show you a few examples here, just that you get an impression. And then we will talk about other system examples. So uh, the results overview, as I have pointed out, is the most general one. Then you have the system results. With the system results, you get the monthly values um, and uh, you get them uh, graphically and uh, on the table. So for example, for this solar thermal system, just to point out a few interesting values, we have got uh, this uh, solar thermal energy, which is um, being uh, produced by the solar thermal collectors, which, are, which is supplied to the system. Um, you can see, obviously, the variations during the season. Uh, and we, can, we see also the energy which is supplied by the heat generator. And of course, if we compare these two um, values, we can calculate the solar flag fraction. So you see, for example, here in March, April, and May, you have the highest solar fraction with this uh, system, with the settings which we have done. And if you want to know more about it, you can go into component results, and there in the component results, you can find out more about each component, as the name says. So, for example, if you want to know mo more about the collector, which of course means the collector field, you see here, for example, the solar radiation onto the collector field. You see again the collector field yield, which we have obviously already seen in the system uh, uh, results. But you can see, for example, also the temperatures of the system. You see, for example, also the temperature during operation. If you have stagnation, you could see information how much stagnation you have. In this case, we don't. 
so we don't have this information but if you have you will see this you see more details then you can see for example here the storage tank and you see here the storage tank has 12 layers. So you, you, have got, you have got 12 layers here in the storage tank. Um, we have 12 layers in the Please continue, sir. And yes, sir, you are not audible. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. sir, yes. Okay, so um, you you see, for example, here the storage tank um, is uh, simulated uh, in twelve layers. That you can simulate also the heat stratification of the storage tank, which of course is very important uh, to simulate the inputs and the outputs uh, at the correct layers, because obviously you have connected different loops to the system. Now, of course, you might think, okay, regarding the temperatures, it's not so interesting uh, if you have got um, uh, here the, the average temperatures. You want to see the temperatures of the moment. And in this case, you can go into uh, the results menu again. You can go into graphical evaluation. You can, for example, choose a particular week then you can click on add curve and for example we are interested in seeing the collector field yield as an example then we would like to see um, what is happening in the storage tank so for example we want to see a lower layer and we want to see for example the top layer now of course we have two units so we have because we have uh, what and we have a centigrade so we have to use two different axes and of course we have to change the color here otherwise this is not very clear so we choose blue for a lower layer and red for a higher layer and then we can see for example maybe we change even the color for the collector then it's clearer for you um, and then you can see, for, exam for example, what is happening exactly in the system. How, uh, how are the temperatures behaving in uh, the system? Now, let me see if we get a week which is more interesting. Yeah, for example, this one is really interesting. You see here um, we have got um, uh, probably rain because it's a rainy season. So we have got here... Um, uh, no solar energy and uh, you see how the temperature in the lower layer drops but then here we have again two sunny days and the temperature picks up again but of course in the upper layer it is kept high because we have got the boiler which is supplying the additional energy so um, this you can analyze very mu uh, much in detail with the graphical evaluation and if you want to know even more, you can go to the simulation analysis. Um, and with the simulation analysis, you will be able to see even the time step values. So you have here this bar and you see exactly what is happening in the system. You see the exact temperatures, the flow rates, uh, the, the power of the, um, the single components. And uh, so you can uh, analyze exactly what is happening. And you see here we are only in January. Actually, it's more or less now uh, the date of today. Uh, today is the 15th. Well, here it's the 18th, but it doesn't matter, just as an example. And you see at 11 and uh, 11 o'clock and 46 uh, seconds, 
you have already the simulation time step 7,779. Uh, so please consider uh, uh, the year has got 8,760 hours. So it's clearly not an hourly simulation, but we have a dynamic uh, simulation software with uh, dynamic time steps. And the time steps can be very short. If you click, for example, here on plus, you see the time step here, maybe you recall before it was 46 seconds, uh, is only 10 seconds. But then the next time step is about two minutes. So it varies according to what has to be simulated in the system. But in any case, we are not talking about hourly simulation. We are talking about a dynamic simulation software from uh, with uh, very uh, small time steps also starting even from one second. Um, and then, of course, at night, the time steps can be longer because you will have no solar radiation. You might uh, probably the people are sleeping, so they won't consume any energy. So uh, and then we are saving, of course, simulation time with this uh, solution. So what you can see here is the graphic user interface of Polisan. Here you can see the different results. Here you can also click on all the components. You can do all your settings here. Uh, you can get into the catalog, um, choose other uh, components. And you can click on everything what you can see here. Uh, so, for example, you can exchange the storage tank this way. You can even click on the pipes. You can change the pipe diameter. You can change the insulation. And this way you can also easily compare. And uh, to, to show to you the comparison, you can, for example, uh, here um, I have uh, already prepared a very simple system. Now this was with solar thermal. This now is with heat pump. And um, you have got here, um, you have the system with heat pump also considering the, um, the consumption in the electrical household. So here, for example, 3,500 kilowatt hours. And here we have added a PV system. Um, and here we have added even a battery, but a small battery. And here we have added a large battery. And now, for example, to do an easy comparison, um, you can, first of all, you can very easily click on these systems, copy them. Um, now, of course, we give it and could give it another name, but to save time, it doesn't matter. And then you could, for example, edit this system by double clicking it, putting in new uh, components, or you add also components from the toolbar and you can uh, this way also uh, customize your system easily and try out really an unlimited number of different uh, systems. And um, I have already prepared a comparison here. So if you, for example, click on system comparison, uh, then you can choose which systems you want to compare with each other. So for example, now we want to compare these four systems. Click on OK. Now, of course, the simulation is running. Uh, the simulation of all four systems. You can see this always from the uh, from the uh, toolbar, um, uh, sorry, from the simulation bar, from this green bar, which is running on the right bottom. And um, now we will wait for a moment and then we will see the results because the full system is being simulated. And here we have now the most important results in a, is a direct comparison. So, uh, for example, if we uh, check here um, the energy which we need, for example, from the external grid, you, we, you can see very clear differences um, because you recall here we had only the heat pump and the household. Here we have the heat pump uh, and a PV system. Here we had a small battery and here a large battery. And you see, of course, the influence here on the system, how the, um, the energy which you require from the external grid is uh, dropping quite sharply 
with the full system, with a large battery, the blue system, you see we only require very little energy from the grid anymore. And of course, you can also see uh, other values, for example, here the self-consumption. We, Of course, we have no self-consumption with the first system because we don't have any PV system. We uh, get all the energy from the grid. Uh, but uh, here you you can see how this also the self-consumption is growing. Um, only PV, the green system with a small battery, the yellow system with a large battery, the black system. And this is an overview which is very nice because you can get you can quickly compare different systems with each other. But of course, once again, you. Uh, might like to know more about it and so you could go on to system results now here we have the thermal results here we have the electrical results and we can see for example here uh, we have the total electricity consumption which is uh, from heat pump and household um, we have got here the yield in uh, for photovoltaics and uh, so when we look at them at first sight, we see the yield in photovoltaics uh, almost 5,000 kilowatt hours and the total consumption 4,000 kilowatt hours. Of course, it seems that we, can, that we produce more than what we need, but this of course would be only a very uh, superficial comparison because we would compare only the yearly value. But what is interesting about it and why you need also the software is that you can compare uh, the time steps with each other, that you try to match production and consumption. And then the uh, things are changing. You can see, for example, here the direct consumption, which would mean that the energy is coming from the house roof via, of course, the inverter, um, into the heat pump or the household, we have uh, 1,773 kilowatt hours only. Uh, so um, um, we obviously cannot um, consume all the energy which we produce directly because we often have uh, energy production when we don't need energy or we have much smaller energy consumption. And the other way around, of course, at night, we don't produce energy, but we consume energy. And um, then you have the self-consumption, and the self-consumption is including also the battery. And then, of course, you see how the value is increasing um, thanks to the battery. And uh, then you can look at it uh, from a different point of view. You can say, OK, I compare the self-consumption with the total electricity consumption, and I see how autonomous I am with my system. And this you can see here on the top in the top line. You see we have about uh, we are, have a self sufficiency, an uh, average self sufficiency of about sixty percent. Or you can look at it from another point of view. You can say I want to know of the energy which I'm producing, um, how much do I self consume? And then this would be the self consumption fraction which you can see here. And of course. Once again, you can go into a graphical evaluation, for example, and do your analysis here. So, for example, here we have this particular week, uh, and you, uh, you see um, here the direct consumption, the green line. Uh, then you see, for example, the red is concerning the electrical grid. The blue is concerning the battery, but we have the continuous line and the dashed line. The, for the electrical grid, the continuous line, what you feed into the grid. Uh, for the battery, the continuous line, also what you feed into the battery. So when you charge the battery and the dashed line, when you uh, discharge the battery, or of course, in case of the grid, if you need energy from the grid. And then you can see here how the system is behaving. You see, for example, very well here that the battery, uh, the continuous blue line is uh, charged here in the morning, but then it stops and then the energy is fed into the grid. So, supposedly, this, the, the battery is too small because it can't take in all the energy production. And, the, and here, of course, we're talking what is left above the, um, the direct consumption, which is the green line. 
And then at night, you can see, for example, here uh, that first you take energy uh, from the um, from the battery. That's good, but it's not enough. The battery is then probably empty, and um, and then you start to um, to take the energy from the grid because uh, it's just under dimension. So these are the, the analyzers which you can do and which will obviously help you to uh, understand uh, the system. Um, so uh, now um, I uh, want to show you a, a, a two or three other examples and then I want to give you a chance to ask some questions because obviously it's anyway just a short presentation. The software is very rich, so there's is much more to it. Uh, we have also um, uh, systems for heating and cooling, uh, which you can see here. And uh, so you can, for example, also then simulate this system. And now you see, for example, the simulation is a little um, slower because uh, we have a more complex uh, system. The simulation time actually depends upon the complexity of the system, so how much data has to be calculated, and obviously also on the computer itself. Uh, but you just need a very ordinary computer. You don't need a special computer. I have just a very ordinary computer by myself. And um, then you can see here, the, uh, again, a tab sheet for the thermal results for the electrical results. And here, of course, you see the results for the whole system. So you see, for example, the energy demand for the whole system. But if you want to know this separately, then, of course, you can go into the component results and you can check, for example, here, the energy which you need for cooling and the energy which you need for heating, for example. Now you see you see need very little here for heating and much, much more for cooling. So uh, these are things which then you, you can analyze. And of course, you, again, you can uh, here simulate it, for example, with a PV system or with the solar thermal system, whatever you want. And uh, talking again about solar thermal, I have shown to you uh, before uh, hot water systems. I have pointed out that we have also um, uh, also uh, heating and cooling, of course, but we have obviously also process heat. So this would be an example for process heat. And in, in this case, we have got this component. You can uh, simulate the process heat in a very easy way, just through this dialog, or you can, for example, use a profile. And if you use a profile, then you need um, uh, data in a CSV file, which you can uh, read into uh, uh, Polysan also. You can use also user-defined profiles uh, that you can uh, simulate um, any uh, profile which you need. Uh, not only for process seed, for the, for the load of process seed, but also, uh, for example, when it comes to the electricity profiles, Again, here, of course, you have uh, CSV files and you can uh, load uh, these CSV files also. Uh, I mean, you can already choose from a rich library, but you can also add your own uh, CSV files. Um, so this would be uh, more or less a rough introduction. Uh, maybe I should mention that, of course, we have also a user manual. Uh, the user manual is a PDF file. You see it has almost 300 pages. So you have lots of more information here, like the introduction, PV, solar thermal, heat pumps, the geothermal systems, cooling system, ice storage tank, cogeneration. Then about the controllers. I haven't even talked about the controllers. Maybe I should mention a few things about the controller as well. And the, the simulation results and also the profitability calculation. Yes, let me please point out these two um, issues to you. Um, so uh, we have got um, the the controllers. You see here. So just wait for some second. Yes. Uh, uh, participants, uh, 
at the end of the session we will share the feedback link in the chat box okay so you have to fill the feedback according to that uh, you will get the certificate and as well as uh, after the question and answer session we will share the sh chat box uh, feedback link in the chat box session okay and please make sure everyone uh, mute their mic as well as uh, don't present the screen directly so uh, Andrea, sir, before going to the next model or explaining anything, you can just a lot of uh, participants had joined uh, 10, 10 minutes ago. So what you can do is a small recap what you have shown, then some of the additional things you wanted to show, as well as show the uh, that uh, photovoltaics related one of the model. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. yes. So um well it is <laughs> it's good. Uh, and yeah uh, the profitability, profitability you wanted to show so you can include that in and yeah. then move to the one uh, pv uh, photovoltaic rated model also so they will get the they'll, they'll get to know the benefits to as well yes. as photovoltaic sites. yes so uh, yes, well, the recap, of course, is a little difficult because it was already quite uh, summarized, as I have pointed out uh, in the beginning. Uh, if you are interested in more details, uh, please contact IndiaSoft and uh, we can we can obviously organize also other um, screen chains or, uh, or answer your, your emails also. But uh, generally, to 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 summarize quickly polysan is a, a software for um, building integrated energy systems uh, which in, can include for example uh, traditional systems of course but mainly our focus is on renewable systems so uh, solar thermal uh, which you can for example see here uh, you have also biomass boilers. Uh, this is a gas boiler, but of course you can go into the catalog and uh, you have here also uh, pellets, for example, of firewood. Um, you, uh, you have uh, heat pumps, uh, which you can see here. You, you can have photovoltaic systems. You can combine these systems, which is the most interesting about Polysun, that you can combine different technologies with each other. You have um, different users, uh, different consumers, of course, the electric household. But of course, as Polisan is doing the uh, thermal simulation, Polisan knows also exactly the, um, the electricity consumption of the heat pump. So, for example, if you go here into the component results and you check the heat pump, you know exactly the... Um, the uh, electricity consumption of the heat pump, you, you know exactly the thermal output of the heat pump. So you can also calculate the actual performance factor and not only the theoretical one. Um, you know also uh, how many hours the heat pump runs and how many times it, it switches on. So you can analyze all this very much in detail. You have uh, the, the graphical evaluation, which I have shown uh, several times now. Uh, you have the simulation analysis, where you can see even the single time steps. So it's um, it's a very uh, flexible and uh, rich software. Yes. And uh, so to to finish now with uh, two uh, two more issues. Um, again, it's not complete my presentation, but. Uh, it's, um, I have selected a few issues which might be interesting for you. So, uh, as I pointed out, Polisan has a large database of templates. This is very nice. Uh, so, you are very, very flexible with Polisan. But also, um, we have a very um, uh, intelligent, let's say, smart controllers. Um, and um, you have different types of controllers here, for example, a controller for auxiliary heating, which can be used for a boiler or heat pump, for example. I won't go into detail in, in this, but for example, if you um, uh, purchase a police and licenses, of course, we will have training and then we, we will, uh, of course, train you also how to use the controllers. Uh, here you have, for example, mixing valve controller. Uh, then, uh, for example, if you go so to solar thermal system, here you have the pump controller for the solar uh, pump 
Um, so you have many different types of controllers and we have also uh, the very intelligent controllers which are called um, a programmable controller. You can see here the blue and red lines. The blue lines are the, the sensors, so the inputs for the controller. The red lines are the outputs. And uh, you see this programmable controller is, for example, uh, capable to control at the same time the heat pump and the PV system and to uh, make sure that they um, cooperate, that they um, work in a way together that you can optimize your self-consumption. Uh, so the controllers is also a really interesting part about Polisan, makes the, uh, the software very flexible. And moreover, as I have mentioned, we have also profitability calculations, so you can do a complete analysis, uh, uh, energetic, uh, um, ecologic and economic. And um, with this uh, profitability calculation, uh, of course, you have to uh, first you have to do all your settings um, and then you have to do your settings for different systems because you need to compare systems with the profitability calculation. Otherwise, the profitability calculation is not interesting because you have to understand which system is more convenient than another one. And so you do first all your, your settings here for the uh, conditions like electricity prices, uh, technology prices, the time in, for which you want to analyze the system, the system cost, you do all your settings here if you have operation and maintenance costs, if you have, uh, for example, even a loan and you have to pay interest on it. So this is the first step. And then once you have done all that, then you can compare systems with each other. And there I have prepared something for you because now, of course, we cannot uh, right do this because we haven't done our settings, so it would need too much time. But uh, you uh, will then get curves like this. For example, here you can see we have a reference system, the black system. Uh, you compare three other systems with this reference system, and you see that these three other systems um, are more expensive in the beginning because you have investment costs. Um, but then you see how the the lines uh, go up, but in a different way because uh, they are different types of systems and you save energy uh, in, in a different way and in a different amount. And you see that, for example, the first system, let's call it the red system here, uh, um, is profitable after about eight years. Um, but on the long run, the yellow system is the most profitable one because you uh, can you invest here uh, more. But of course, this way you also save more energy. And you see in the in the long run, this is the most convenient. So uh, these are um, uh, possibilities which you also have uh, with Polisan. Of course, in the settings, you can of course choose your your currency. Um, so uh, don't worry. So of course you can also choose your your own currency. So this is is no no problem. You see it here. So um, uh, you can even change languages. We have uh, Polisan is running uh, in different languages, not only in English. So uh, it's uh, internationally used. And of course we have seen in the beginning. Of course you have the weather data of India already inside. Um, so there's there is no problem about that. So um, this would be actually more or less my introduction to the software uh, because I see all also the it's already a little late. Um, but um, of course I want to give you also a chance to ask some questions. Um, so um, maybe I would like to ask uh, the colleagues of India Soft to coordinate this. Um, uh, yes, sir. we will conduct a question and answer session now. So uh, those, those people who want to ask a question, they can put the chat box as well as they can, mm -hmm. okay. they can uh, ask the question. The sort of question was previously that uh, uh, 
can we uh, does it contain any solar desalination simulation uh solar desalination yes i can see the question now here um in there a question you can see that yes yes uh, so um you don't have desalination systems in polisan what you uh, could so you you can't simulate the desalination as such what of course you could simulate is the energy which you need for the desalination this you could do so you can go above there are some more question in the chat box Please. yes um so um uh, mahesh wag sir's question one question is from mahesh wag please answer that uh, yeah i'm sorry i'm a little confused with all the questions so um uh, so for example um can we simulate the effect of soiling yes uh, you can simulate uh, uh, soiling and you have also a b facial solar pv this is also integrated in polisan uh, you have also uh, collectors um, um, uh, concentrating solar thermal collectors um, uh, parabolic trough collectors you have also inside you can also simulate uh, these um, uh, then let me go up a little to check the questions which were um, asked before um, uh, so regarding the list of systems as I have said there are about 1000 systems inside so that's an enormous enormous uh, amount um, so um, maybe you can also ask us questions here uh, which systems would be necessary for you to uh, to uh, simulate and then we can also uh, confirm what is possible um, and you can, dear participants you can ask your question in a chat box if it is not answered please ask again okay and um, so then you have got, uh, yeah, you have mentioned other software like HOMA. Um, this is actually, uh, it, it is uh, also a hybrid software, but the interesting or the different thing about Polinsang is that it is very uh, system oriented. So you can actually analyze the way a system works and you can through very fine settings like through the controllers through the exact component components you can check if uh, one system is more suitable than the other so for the system comparison and for the detailed analysis uh, polisan is is very very suitable so please come downward now so i go down uh, pvt yes okay i can show this quickly um then yeah if, regarding the costs uh, um india soft will inform you about that um for anyway for universities we have special conditions uh, which are different compared to you uh, to companies just that you know this um and uh, yes, flat plate solar water heater, of course, you can simulate. Um, uh, yes, you can, you have these uh, controllers, which I have shown to you. Um, so uh, I will show PVT. We have uh, also um, an, a special folder regarding PVT, which is here hybrid collector systems. And you have also uh, several uh, templates here uh, with PVT. Um, you see also the way how um, uh, the component is designed because of course they include thermal and electrical um, aspects so you have to define the the product in the catalog uh, very much in um, in in detail for both sides 
Um, and you, for example, you can again combine it also with different technologies, like here, for example, with ground source loop. Uh, and uh, you have um, also the possibility here, for example, to have different fields for in uh, PVT. And we have also some interesting company templates regarding PVT, like, for example, this one which uh, is a special technology and of course i can send you more information about that yes sir please see some chat some questions have uh, you can see in the chat box uh, regarding the export of data uh, yes you can export uh, uh, the results um, so you can go for example here in the results I have, as I've shown to you and you can actually uh, export all of them um, uh, through here export results so this is possible um, and uh, if you want to know if you want to have even more detailed results exported then you can go to tabular evaluation. That's something I haven't shown to you because, as I said, there are so many things. You cannot show everything, but a tabular evaluation is that you can have hourly values or 50-minute values or time step values. And then you have, of course, a very large table, which you cannot uh, check because it's, it's useless. I mean, too many data. But you can, of course, uh, click here and select specific um, specific uh, um, values. For example, what the energy from external grid. So let's do this example. Then you see this is automatically selected. And then you can um, uh, copy it and paste it, for example, in Excel. So you can also um, uh, export the the simulation results of a whole year uh, into another program if you want to. So, uh, parabolic dishes do we have? Yes. Um, so, um, let me go back to the solar thermal system. So, um, for example, if you click here, you see different concentrating collectors. Um, and um, yeah, so also these can be simulated. Okay. Sir, can you show the soiling simulation of bifacial? Um, for bifacial uh, uh, co uh, sol um, PV modules, um, you let me quickly see. Um, you have something in the wizard. Let me start with this. Maybe it's the easiest way. So if you go here to photovoltaics. So then you see here PV bifacial, but of course you have to choose from the uh from the catalog you have to choose a bifacial module so um we have them inside uh i can i can send you later some examples but uh of course i uh, i have first to look for them but anyway it's it's possible to simulate it so maybe if you uh, just send the uh, your address to uh, India Soft, and then um, I can send you some examples. Uh, Siddhant, okay, thank you, sir. No suggestion right now for desalination. Well, if I so desalination is not not uh, Hello, available to be directly. Of course, you could simulate, for example, the the energy um, production and the yield of course of a solar system which then is used for solar desalination uh, and you could also uh, um, then define the solar desalination through this item 
uh, but uh, the desalination is such, so how much water you need um, and uh, how, how, uh, how much clean water you will get out of it, uh, this you can't do with poison. Uh, Varma sir has asked that we will send you the video link, sir. Okay, yeah. we'll mail you. Do we have an option of a solar ray tracing? Sorry, solar ray tracing. I'm sorry, solar, solar ray tracing, tracing of solar ray. I'm, I'm sorry, I. I don't understand now. Maybe you can write it. Let me see. Solar radiation. Ah, radiation. Ah, ah, okay. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. Uh, so you, uh, for example, you mean that uh, you have a tracker in your system. And so, for example, if you go here onto the... Um, the PV module, then you can have, you can uh, here uh, set the tracking. So you, maybe you have no tracking or you have got uh, zenithal tracking or azimuth tracking or bi axial tracking. So this you can then uh, uh, set here. So this is uh, possible. Siddharth Gupta, sir, we will answer your question after the session is over regarding desalination. Any other question, please ask participants. Any questions? Please ask questions. So one question is that is it suitable for site selection analysis for solar wind hybrid system? Um, no. Uh, you uh, you have got the solar data, the solar radiation inside Pulisan, as I've shown to you for the whole world. And you can also, uh, for example, uh, what I haven't shown you so far, check the solar pass of the chosen location. You see the exact solar position throughout the year and also throughout the day. Um, but you, uh, uh, you have also wind data actually inside, uh, which is uh, necessary for to simulate the, the cooling, uh, the natural cooling, of course, of the modules or of the solar thermal collectors. Uh, but, uh, you know, with wind, the, the, the data are very, it's very local compared to the solar radiation. So you have uh, in the same city very different wind conditions according to the buildings, according to, uh, to the, uh, if you have a hill or whatever. And so it would be necessary to do a, a measurement, actually, of the of the wind. So please see chat box again. Some question, some more question. So regarding MATLAB, well, this is actually uh, very different. The the great advantage of uh, Polisan is when it comes also to your students is that you can very easily learn it and the students get very quick impression of the different systems which can be uh, used and installed and can easily compare these systems with each other by doing a simulation and uh, then can compare the results also um, very quickly and can understand the effects of changes. So, for example, if you change, very simple, if you change the tilt angle, if you change the orientation, if you change uh, a storage tank, if you uh, change a battery, uh, as I have shown before, you know, smaller or larger battery, what is the effect? So, it, it helps very much the students to, to get uh, 
um, a, um, a better idea of uh, of these systems, which of course for the students uh, is very difficult in the beginning because they have no practical experience and um, it's all very abstract. And uh, so it's it's really a very good uh, introduction into this uh, business. And of course, technology. Uh, so can we integrate uh, with a real hardware system? Um, sure. Yeah. Um, well, the, we have also uh, the possibility of a plug-in controller where you can communicate with other software and you can, for example, write your code uh, of the, for the controller, for example, in MATLAB or in, in Python or whatever, and then you can feed it into Polisan. This is not the designer version, this is the, uh, the premium version, uh, which I cannot show you right now. Uh, but this is really for very for special research projects. Um, for uh, for the teaching, this is not really what what is should be done. It should be kept uh, in a straightforward way, and for especially uh, one should try to to um, to transmit uh, to transfer the information very quickly. And um, so we, uh, you see, the interesting thing about Polisan is you have it from very straightforward and very easy in just five minutes. We are there to also very uh, demanding issues, uh, but of course you should do one step after the other. And um, but if you uh, if you are interested in these uh, more complicated issues, uh, these are also possible. And I could also. We could also show them to you if you're interested. Anyway, this is not the the normal use of Polisa. So Vinay Thombresar has asked, can we analyze PVRA correction shading condition through the software? PVRA connection and partial shading con condition. Uh, the shading, uh, yeah. So I, I, I just see here different heat transfer okay. fluids. Uh, so regarding the heat transfer fluids, yes, um, you uh, you can click here on the pipe, and then you can um, see here, for example, display loop, and you can see the the fluid which is being used in the loop, and you can click here on the pen and uh, change the the fluid. And of course, as it, uh, what I haven't even mentioned, as it is a catalog, you can also add your own fluids. Uh, that is regarding everything in Polisan. All, all catalogs, all databases can be personalized, can be customized, so you can add your own uh, components. And uh, yeah, so regarding the fluids, yes, you can change the fluids and, and do simulations with different uh, fluids. And regarding the um, the shading, yes, we have seen this briefly here. You can also define uh, shading like uh, obstructions, like for example by buildings. You have anyway the natural shading. You see the blue line here. Well, here it is of course very low because we have chosen Mumbai at uh, at the sea. So, uh, of course, we have no shading here, but if you have, for example, um, uh, a location in the mountains, then you will see that the mountains are immediately considered. So, uh, the shading is considered. Uh, Dr. Bridges Singh, you wanted to ask a question, so please ask your question. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, so actually, I have a one question: whether we can simulate uh, the system model which is integrated with uh, small hydro turbines as well as uh, storage. Um, well, uh, the the um, the hydro turbines um, as such. Uh, cannot be simulated, but you can define um, the, um, the consumption, uh, the, the production profiles 
uh, of uh, these systems. For example, here, if you have a small hydropower station uh, and you can then load it and it's uh, practically it's considered as negative consumption. So that means it's, uh, of course, additional production in combination with other uh, components of your system. So you can you actually you can do this always with technologies which are not available in Polisan. Uh, you can uh, always read in values which you have from another software. Uh, uh, but uh, of course, you cannot simulate the yield directly of this um, of of this system. So um, we have, uh, as I have pointed out. Uh, lots of technologies but of course not all and uh, so what is missing uh, you can integrate in a system where you have other components which are actually uh, determining so maybe uh, photovoltaics maybe pvt maybe heat pumps maybe also uh, co-generation uh, which uh, which you have here which i haven't shown to you so you have even other uh, components which are uh, which can be taken into consideration other technologies okay uh, and sir one more question if you allow me uh, actually i have a one doubt uh, whether uh, it can be simulate the uh, means hybrid system uh, with the uh, solar pv and all uh, but uh, whether it is option to optimize these energy resources for any given load profile yes um, so um, that is actually what what is really nice about Polisan because you can uh, do different settings very quickly by simply copying the system. Do just uh, then of course in, initially you have the same system. Then you just change one value and you uh, immediately can compare these systems. So this way you can optimize them. And here, for example, um, we have this programmable controller uh, where we try to optimize uh, this system um, uh, regarding the excess in photovoltaic uh, energy. So, for example, you reproduce photovoltaic energy, but we cannot um, feed it, uh, or we don't want to feed it in the grid, and we cannot consume it maybe in the household. So, we try to uh, run the heat pump with the excess in energy and this can be for example done through the program of a controller um, so uh, you have got this is just an example of course but generally yes you can optimize your uh, self-consumption thank you sir you're welcome one more question like study of wind turbine generator with dc generators uh, so I have seen here uh, monocrystalline and polycrystalline. Yes, of course. Uh, the, uh, as I have said, this database is uh, uh, so vast. Uh, it's actually the, the largest in uh, Polisan. You have uh, thousands of PV modules here of different uh, manufacturers. And you can see here, for example, the module type. Of course, you can see many other uh, technical values here so um, uh, this is uh, very well done and uh, so you can also compare different uh, PV modules with each other and different technologies as you can see here monocrystalline polycrystalline um, also a morph um, uh, PV modules so this is this is very rich in yes, sir. Uh, can we do solar array? Please see the chat box, sir. Solar. So uh, here I see, for example, after the question of uh, regarding monocrystalline and polycrystalline. Uh, systems, uh, multiple energy sources, yes, 
yes, uh, you can combine different energy sources with each other. You can even define your own energy sources. This is also possible because it's an open catalog. Um, uh, then if the software uh, provides design facilities through coding, I'm not sure if I understand well this question. I'm sorry. Uh, so maybe we 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 try to figure this out by email. Uh, then the the regarding the wind turbines, the wind turbines itself, they are not inside Polisan, but you can read them in uh, if you have the data of other software. Solar arrays, yes, you can have different solar arrays. Um, so you uh, you can um, um, design the system exactly as, as it is, um, and um, uh, and for solar dryers also we 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 have to check this. This can be possible with a workaround. Yes. Okay. So, so uh, any other questions? We have last five minutes, so you can answer. You uh, you can ask your question. Yes. You can raise your hand in the uh, session. Yes, Priyanka Chauhan, please ask your question. Any other question? Uh, we have. I'm. I'm sorry for a moment. I'm. I'm sorry. I will be back in a moment. <laughs> in the meantime, those who haven't uh, filled the feedback, we have pasted the link in the chat box. You can see that. <laughs> Yes, I'm sorry, I'm back again. Yeah, experiment on fuel cell uh, and its operation. The question is that. Um, yeah, we have uh, uh, also fuel cells inside, but uh, maybe also here it would be good if you can define exactly want to, what you want to do with it. Uh, in any case, this is also um, a component which is included in uh, Polisan. Please see chat box, sir, once again. Um, yeah, with the also with the uh, phase change materials, we we have to uh, to check this. This is also possible with a workaround. Um, so um, uh, yeah, we I think we will discuss this also uh, individually. Um, you can design your own systems. Yes, it's uh, we have all these systems inside, uh, but um, you can um, through the toolbar here. You can uh, edit systems. I do a very very easy and quick example, just that you see how it works. So, for example, if you have. Uh, a system like that and you want to edit this, you want to uh, have different hydraulics, you can select it and uh, you, uh, you can then, uh, for example, delete components which you don't uh, need. 
now of course also the controller you don't need any more then you can reconnect the the components and then you can do of course your simulation again uh, or you can also add new components so you can for example uh, click here on the toolbar and uh, then for example choose here from the toolbar you the components which you might need and then also connect them and integrate them into the system so yes you can design your own systems and so this makes it of course very very flexible uh, then of course you can click on it and you can do all your settings and uh, well the, what we have already seen before So, uh, so thank you very much for, for your interest and thank you very much for your active uh, participation. And um, I think, yeah, regarding special cases, I think we should uh, discuss it further uh, by email. And, and um, in any case, I, I really uh, suggest to you to use the software in your lectures for your students because then they will very quickly get a much better idea of what renewable energies are about. And this is really uh, very nice about Polisan and especially you can get quickly to a point where it is interesting for everybody. Yes, you have a free version of the software. Information. You can go to our website and you can download uh, a, a, a trial version uh, of uh, the software so um, the, the software uh, in, in any case, any information, you please contact you can contact the soft which will give you the necessary information so one question was that can we get uh, live data for solar radiation hello Sorry, can we? Live data of solar radiation. Uh, yes, um, you have got here in the location of the system, you, you can use the web service and through the web service, you can download the, uh, the current um, weather data or the well the the radiation and of course weather data you need temperature you need uh, humidity you need wind you need everything but especially of course the radiation you can download this through the web service or you can work with your lo uh, local weather data which you have saved on your computer during the installation or you could even load external weather data if you want to through CSV files. So you could also use your own weather, di weather data if you want to. But of course, that's more work because the other weather data is already available. You don't need to do anything for it. And, and here you need, uh, of course, to, uh, to create um, a CSV file and then load it. But it's possible, yes. You have, with the weather data, you have really let's say no limits, you can do it uh, in any way you like. Please see the chat box. Um, regarding the nanofluids, well, as I said, generally you can uh, exchange the fluid. Uh, I have shown this briefly. Um, um, and I th yes, I mean, I have not done this actually, but it should be possible because you can define the fluid. You have an open catalog where you can define which fluid you want to use. And uh, so this should be possible, yes.
here you can define the fluid and of course we can also give you a hand if you don't know the exact uh, data but of course you you also need i think in the special cases to uh, supply the data to us in any case it's possible because as i've mentioned all uh, catalogs all databases are open so you can copy a line change it edit it create your own uh, components and th this is regarding all the catalogs and you see we have lots of catalogs for uh, all the components for collectors, uh, for batteries, for storage tanks, for different energy sources, for different fluids. Um, so regarding all the components which are inside Polisan, you, uh, you have actually no limit in this. We'll just show the, the yeah, please see chat boxes. Yeah, regarding the hybrid wind solar, uh, wind, uh, you, uh, wind, yes, you can do this, but you need to have the wind data first. And uh, solar power, of course, you have seen this. This is, uh, uh, is, is very, um, very rich. So participants, we are, are uh, we are at Sir, at I the end of the. Uh, if you haven't feel feedback, uh, please see in the chat box. We have provided a feedback link. According to that, you will get a certificate of participation. And any question, please ask. And uh, and yes, sir. Meanwhile, you library of the some of the Indian manufacturer, uh, which is available for the panels or collectors. So they'll get the idea. It is applicable to. Uh, uh, it will be applicable to Indian customer. <laughs> yes, well, uh, as I said, you uh, first of all, any user can uh, integrate any component. But of course, we are also happy to integrate uh, components by ourselves as we have done it. You see the, the uh, databases have grown over the years, so we are happy. So if you send us something which should be integrated, then of course, we will also be able to do that. So uh, again, thank you very much for, for this active participation, for your great interest. Okay, sir. And, uh, thank you very much for your time. And for <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Thank you for organizing it. And, uh, and uh, yes, and I hope uh, we will be in touch again. Of course, we will be uh, regarding India Soft, but I mean all of you. And um, so, uh, yes, um, please try out a trial version, which you can uh, download from our website. Uh, and for more information, you can contact IndiaSoft, which will then uh, pass on the questions to us. And uh, so I, I wish you a nice uh, evening in your case. Uh, here it is now 12 o'clock. And um, as I said, we have a very, a lot of snowfall, a winter day, and um, yes, I hope I, I will be able to get home. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank awesome. you very much. Sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, participant, uh, you yeah. can uh, uh, contact us. The contact details are provided in the chat box. As well as a feedback link is also provided. And the participants in the near future also we are going to come up.